I have been in documentary films industry for years, but no one has frightened me like this woman. Every man who falls for her ends up dying quickly. She has had many boyfriends and has been married before, but each of them died within three months. Everyone who lives near her is scared of her. People everywhere call me a witch. They say I take their life and eat their bodies. <laughs> yes, you heard that right. Not one, not three, but five men who were in love with her passed away. <laughs> All four men died in the year 2023, and the fifth man died in this year, 2024. I am not usually scared of magic, but the thought of meeting this woman made me very frightened. It seems she is a witch and knows what she is doing. That is why she takes every man, steals their luck, and then takes their life. Today, we return to Congo. DRC is the second biggest country in Africa and the 11th biggest in the world. When I heard this story, I wanted to meet this woman to learn more. Why does every man who loves her die? Is she really a witch like people say? And how do the people who live near her act around her? Now we are heading to North Kivu in the city of Goma at Katinda where this woman lives. We will talk to her to learn more about her extraordinary story. My name is Gloria and I live in Katindo, a place in Goma town. When I try to talk about myself, it's hard. My life story is not easy to share because of things I've experienced. But now, I'm just a regular woman. I live alone with no children and no husband. Gloria's story starts when she was a young girl. She was born into a rich family, so she had everything a child needs to grow up well. She went to primary school and then to secondary school, just like most of us do. During school, we meet various people and start thinking about what we want to do in life. Gloria's life was similar to many others in this way. As Gloria grew up, she followed the usual path, like many do, thinking about creating her own family. But as she got older, something unexpected happened that surprisingly changed her life. To be honest, this is difficult for me to talk about. I used to meet guys just for fun. But like many people, I wanted to find someone special, get married, have children and start a stable family. But luck wasn't on my side in this matter. I met my first boyfriend and we were deeply in love for two months. Soon after we got married and had a big ceremony, we were very happy. But just one month later, my husband passed away. It was a regular day. He woke up and went to work, but tragically, he was in a serious accident and died instantly. Everyone understands how painful it is to lose someone they deeply love. After Gloria's husband passed away in an accident, she didn't blame anyone. She believed it was part of God's plan. This was a very hard time for Gloria, but she stayed strong. She had to say goodbye to her husband and then began to build a new life for herself. After that, my life turned very difficult and I started to lose my joy. It was hard to accept, but as time passed, I slowly found happiness again. Later, I met a new man who cared for me. I was on my own when I began to have feelings for him and eventually he became my fiancé. Three months after we planned to start a life together, he passed away from a sickness. At this point, I really started to feel scared because this was the second time something like this had happened. But on the other hand, I didn't blame myself because we never had a big argument before he passed away. Every time a new relationship started, it was filled with hope and happy times. There were dreams of building a life together. But each relationship ended unexpectedly and left many unanswered questions. 
From the first relationship to the second, each one ended in a way that was hard to understand. This left her feeling heartbroken and made her question her beliefs. It was like every story had a sad and mysterious ending that made it hard for her to understand why things happened the way they did. I started to worry deeply, wondering if I was cursed or if there were problems in my family history. I became really scared because of what kept happening. A third man came into my life and we started dating. He really loved me, but he too passed away after three months and the same thing happened with the fourth man I dated. I began to question many things about myself. It felt like watching a movie because I couldn't understand why these things were happening to me. We were all in love and there were no visible problems, but after each of them died, I began to wonder if it was somehow my fault just because I dated them. Then I decided to stop getting into relationships because it seemed like people were getting hurt because of me. Even though I was not the one causing their deaths, it felt like they were dying because they became a part of my life. After deciding to stop being in a relationship again, she took time to settle down and spend a lot of time on other things that are far from romantic. As they say, no one can escape something that is meant to happen to them. The further he got away from it, the more it became worse. I tried my best not to fall in love again. I managed to stay single for a while, but it was only for a short time. Before I really started to live my own life, something happened that made me think there was a weird problem with me. After spending many years alone, without children or a family, I started to realize that maybe I shouldn't keep thinking I was the cause of all the problems. Last year, I started dating someone new, the fifth guy, and we were together for three months. This time, I thought everything would be okay because I had given myself plenty of time to heal and prepare. We had a good relationship for three months and everything seemed perfect. I was sure that this time, life would be good. We got married and all seemed well. But a few days later, my husband said he had a headache one night. We went to sleep, but his condition got worse during the night. We decided to go to the doctor, but tragically, my husband passed away on the way there. This time, Gloria was very upset because she understood that what she thought was normal was actually a very big problem. She had no children, no husband, no family, and she felt like she had no reason to live. But because she was a strong woman, she made a decision that has really helped her up to now. Even though it didn't solve all her problems, it was the best solution for her. This decision helped her deal with problems she knew about and those she didn't. <laughs> I buried him just like I did the others, but I decided I couldn't keep living like that. That's when I chose to seek help from religious leaders and get closer to God because I couldn't figure out the problems threatening my life on my own. I faced a tough challenge dealing with what people were saying as everyone blamed me for the tragedies. But because I turned to God, he provided support through a man at the church I attended. This man helped me with everything, even though life remained tough for me. My name is Emmanuel, and I pray with Gloria. I got to know her when she first came to church. She shared all her troubles with me, and I told her that the best thing I could do was to help her get closer to God. Gloria has faced many hard situations, which made her very scared, especially because all her fiancés passed away shortly after being with her. Because of this, a lot of people, including those who knew her well, started to be afraid of her. Sometimes, she begins to feel hopeful, but then, things don't work out. Despite this, I keep encouraging her to keep praying and believing in God. We are hopeful that, despite her difficulties, she will find peace and freedom, because we believe God can change any situation.
This person supports her every day and is always there for her, both at church and at home. Gloria is a hardworking woman, but because she has had bad luck in finding a husband, she now spends a lot of time in church praying. She believes that this is how she will find an answer. As someone who has faith, she hopes that her prayers will help her find the happiness she lost in the past. However, she knows that she needs to be patient and strong through everything. I am trying to focus on praying a lot, but it is hard because of the problems I am facing. People everywhere are calling me a witch, from the families of the guys I dated to my neighbors and everyone I know. They blame me for their deaths, but I am not a witch and I don't understand these accusations. Sometimes I feel so unlucky and sad that I think about giving up on life, but then I realize that is not the solution. I decided to devote myself to God, and I've been seeking a miracle from Him. Sometimes, I actually feel peace in my heart, which is new for me. This makes me believe that God is healing my pain. I see one reason ladies might face problems like this is that sometimes they are very proud, especially if they think they are beautiful. This pride might make them feel they are better than others and don't need to rely on God. This attitude can also make people around them jealous. Even though some people don't believe it, dark spirits are real. It's possible that someone who doesn't like you could use this to ruin your life. As someone who believes in God, I advise ladies and others to be humble and stay close to God. Being connected to God is the best protection against these kinds of problems. What should I say to people who judge me and accuse me of being responsible for my children's problems or call me a witch? I want to say that I have never intended to harm any of my boyfriends. Even though people have blamed me, my advice to others is not to judge. Sometimes people are facing tough situations and they need support, not criticism. I am asking everyone to please pray for me so that God can help me overcome this problem and allow me to have a family. Also, I want to say thank you to everyone who is supporting me during this tough time. Let's all hope the best for Gloria. Her story shows us that you can face many tough times and feel very bad, even when it's not your fault. But what matters most is to stay strong and have faith. Remember, no one should have to face their darkest hours alone. Let's be there for each other, in understanding, in prayer and support. Thank you for watching. I am Simon Greenwood, and this is Aframax English. Please remember to subscribe.